What's going on guys? Welcome back to Matt Cooper Bites. Sorry it's been a while. Um, I've been recovering from knee surgery and haven't even had a sniff of a mix in the past few weeks, but we're back today. We're back with another review towards Birmingham Way, just as you pass Hampstead up towards as you're going to Handsworth. We're going to the Garden Gate. Now, a couple of people have said this is a really bit, really good spot, a little bit of a hidden gem. Um, I've had a wrap from here before as a takeaway and it was okay. Uh, but never a mixy, so looking forward to this one. Hopefully uh, those people who said it's a good place are, are, are to be proven right. So it's a Thursday night. I've barely had a touch of drink all November and I feel like I deserve it. So it's a Thursday night. Let's go and get a beer and a mixed grill. So we're here now at the Garden Gate, decent beer selection on tap. Uh, we've gone with a Cobra uh, tonight. We've gone with the GG Grill, which is 18.95. That's shish kebab, chicken tikka, chicken wings, a green tikka, codfish pakora, king prawns, and tandoori salmon tikka. I've not tried the um, salmon tikka before, so looking forward to that. They have, in fact, chucked in a few papadoms on the house as well for the fellas, which Andy's managed to demolish most of them already. So. Really looking forward to it, I'm absolutely starting, so hopefully it lives up to its reputation. Right, buckle up chaps, because this one's about to get a bit messy. The chicken tikka was really dry, not a fan of this at all. Uh, not not great at all. Moving on to the fish pakora now. These were okay considering. I've had better, but they weren't as crispy as I'd like them to be. But they did a job for the grill. Moving on now to the green ticker. Probably the best bit about the grill. Not a lot of it on there though. Uh, moving on to the chicken wings. I weren't a fan of these at all. Compare these to the crispy wings at the Bradford Arms. They piss all over them. Moving on now to the salmon. They've had salmon on the grill, and I think it's the last time um, basing it off this. It wasn't good. Moving on to the prawns, still had like massive shells. I've never had prawns like this on a mixed grill before. Um, not a fan whatsoever. The lamb chops, flatter to deceive, but actually weren't too bad considering they don't look great. Um, then moving on to the chips, the masala chips, barely any spice on them. Felt like they'd been warmed up from like three days ago. Would avoid these. Garden Gate, um, Hansworth. Hampstead, <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Um, James has kindly put the floodlights on for us because it's nearly eight o'clock. Um, I wasn't impressed at all. I'm trying to be diplomatic about James. What were your thoughts, mate? By the way, hat trick for James on the channel. Nice one. So Three in a row. I'm Prime Kev Phillips. Yeah, mate. I learned we don't speak about him, but not, not where I'm from. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, I'm disappointed because I've got a mate who comes here for every Alvin game and raves about What's it. What's his name? Yeah, Ryan Keats. Ryan Keats. Keaty. Keaty, mate. And his brother DK, of course. Um, and so, yeah, that was underwhelming. Man, to be fair, that was um, yeah, disappointing. One, one of my... Um, one of my friends, Andrew Carter, he says this place is... I'm showing him out because he needs to know it. <laughs> like, the shout -out yeah, somewhere. people like need need a bit of backlash and very, very disappointed with that, mate. I, I felt... I thought the service was going to be... Like, it was good how quickly it came out, but it almost felt... Because there was no one else here. It was, it, <laughs> it was rushed, wasn't it? You know, yeah. it's important not, not to force it. Yeah. What was your score out of 10, please, mate? Yeah, five out of 10. Okay, five, five out of 10 be for be generous, yeah. Okay, five out of 10. Not great, but maybe just a bad night at the office. Not going to be a pretty one this chaps unfortunately, value for money was a 7, I've had bigger grills for the money, plus they missed the kebab off the mixie which was poor I felt, um, was looking forward to having a bit of kebab on the evening but wasn't to be, the masala chips were dreadful, I gave them a 4 because they were warm, no spice, felt like they'd been just warmed up like Chinese chippy chips you'd have from like your takeaway the night before. The mixy was a four. This may sound harsh and I'm giving them a bashing, but I feel like it's imp important for me to be honest with you because I don't want you spending your hard earned money on somewhere I've recommended that isn't very good. Comfortably the worst mixy I've had, that was a four. We gave the service a seven. It's a bit of a weird one this because we got served really quickly. The bar staff were really friendly, but the food came out within like 10 minutes, if that. So it, on one hand, it was good that it came out quickly, but on the other hand, it's almost like it was warmed up, if that makes sense. So, 
Yeah, uh, and then we gave James gave the mixie a five, so that's a total of twenty seven out of fifty, unfortunately. 